If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Sups the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookum here. Today we're going to look at the training program of Simon Javierto, the amazing drug-free bodybuilder from the Bronze Era. Simon is shown here with a physique that would put most regular gym goers to shame. And he was the pupil of the great bodybuilder and author Earl Liederman, who through his courses produced hundreds, if not thousands, of outstanding pupils in the 1920s. Simon Javierto, of course, was one of them. I just want you to see some of these photos, which are found in Earl Liederman's book, Muscle Building, which contains the program I'm going to outline today, which Simon followed to achieve his incredible natural physique. I first came across this image of Simon in a muscle power issue from the 1940s and was thoroughly impressed at his muscle control. The ability to contract his abdominals in a vacuum as shown here, as well as his oblique and lats, makes this pose a most interesting study of the most muscular pose. We can appreciate all the upper body musculature Simon developed. However, Simon's ability to isolate and then pop out his lats like that is just uncanny. And the way he contracts with his obliques makes it look like this guy built, you know, two lats on each side. An upper lat on top of a lower lat, so to speak. Of course, this is not the case, but both his development and muscle control is truly marvelous. And it gives this marvelous illusion, doesn't it? I then came across further images of Simon being curious as to who this bodybuilder was, and I really began to appreciate this bodybuilder's physique and muscle control. Just look at this incredible vacuum I found. Like This photo is amazing. It is deep and the serratus and intercostals are just popping out. His well-capped shoulders are very visible and he's got excellent tricep and overall development You know, in the upper body. It's just incredible. And it's very obvious how well-developed he is. Um, all the muscle insertions, the separation is fantastic. As are, of course, his long sweeping lats, which are very visible in this pose as well. Looking at his back now and triceps development in this other image, we can appreciate how thick his back was, well developed, and, his, and also his triceps are very, very well developed, they're just popping out. Even his neck was well developed. Of course, we are not talking about a bodybuilder here with unhealthy low body fat levels either, or overly developed, grotesque looking muscles. Simon was the kind of natural bodybuilder that represented function, health and strength, packaged in a beautiful physique that most even today would admire and even envy. Looking at Simon's training routine, it was simply the routine that Earl Liederman recommended for his students, which I featured recently in the Bronze Era Bodybuilding Method video I made and is listed here. Like most Bronze Era athletes, Simon was drug free. He trained initially on a full body routine three times a week, basically using one of these exercises per body part and later changed to a double split training um, routine, training each upper and lower body split twice a week using two to three exercises listed here for each body part. And basically his diet was just a whole natural diet. I keep getting asked again and again what these guys had as a diet. You, you got to understand that back then, the concept of even diets, supplementation, macros, all these things that we kind of think about every day nowadays, especially those that are training, that, that concept just didn't exist back then. People just ate natural food. They thought, if I eat natural, whole food, I'll be healthy. And if I train for function and strength, I will develop a physique that is worth admiring. It's that simple. There wasn't that much thought of it as it is nowadays. Now, for those interested in developing a vacuum and abdominals like Simon Javierto and interested in his ab and vacuum program overall, it is a simple combination of training the most important factors that contribute to such an outstanding vacuum. Firstly, reducing excess body fat is very important, as is abstinence from overeating, which I will elaborate in a minute. Training the abdominal muscles and practicing vacuums is of course also necessary, and Simon's favorite exercises are listed here. 
He would basically use two to three exercises as they appear from this list, train each for two to three sets of 25 reps and train abs about four days a week. I took the liberty of creating small routines from these and I have listed them here. Of course, vacuums should be trained on an empty stomach, ideally in the morning, performing up to 10 repetitions each for five to 10 second holds. Time was also taken to practice muscle control, which obviously Simon mastered, which allowed such wonderful display of his musculature. Regarding eating habits again, it is important to note that Bronze Era athletes were not also in the habit of overeating. I get asked again and again, why is it that these guys had, had such low percentage body fat? Well, they did not overeat. And in doing so, they kept, low, they kept their low body fat levels. They ate for function and only until satisfied, but not full. This kind of restraint along with practicing, of course, vacuums and muscle control to control hunger was resonated by golden era bodybuilders such as legendary Frank Zane, as he explains clearly in his books. If you read Frank Zane's books, he actually talks about when you're trying to get definition to abstain from eating too much and develop that hunger because then you will start burning excess body fat. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on the Bronze Era athlete Simon Javierto and his Bronze Era bodybuilding method. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give the video a like, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. If you're interested in learning more about the double progression system, hit me up for online coaching or check out my website for Bronze Era and Silver Era ebooks by Ole Lederman, George Hackenschmidt, Sigmund Klein, who all promoted the double progression system during the Bronze Era and of course the many muscle control books by Maxic and others, as well as Silver Era courses covering the Silver Era stars, of course, such as Steve Reeves, Park, Eda, Grimmick, Goldberg, and Ross, all at www.goldenerabookworm.com. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. 
To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end the death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing savvy. He's a marketing genius. Got it, got it. It's only vitamin. The right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster? A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now, when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. Doctors, no, no way. I, that stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way. I'm not going to give you, it's going to kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have dragged so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was gonna explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me. Yeah.